What on earth is a Royal Enfield rider doing on a Harley Davidson? Well, the answer is quite simple. Stay tuned. What's up, riders? Old Man Ronan here. Welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I thought you'd get a kick out of that little intro there where I goofed on my uh, my little saying, WTF is a Harley rider doing on Royal Enfield bikes, you know, whether it's the Himalayan or the Media 350. So, well, we're going to talk a little bit about what am I doing on a Harley Davidson? Well, I'll tell you what, before we get started, man, it is a chilly day. It started out at 27 degrees this morning, and uh, yeah, it's a little on the cool side. Thank God I've got some warm equipment, including these uh, these gloves. These gloves are pretty super. But uh, yeah, the uh, the uh, cold weather does uh, does affect my riding. How it does is because I, I really lower, layer up on clothing. And if you guys want to check it out, I've got a winter clothing uh, a video up that I did last year and I think you might get a kick out of seeing. But uh, check that out. I put a little card there and you can watch it later. But the gist of the story is, what am I doing on the Harley? You know, I've gotten so much pleasure out of the Royal Enfields over the last year that I've kind of neglected these bikes. And uh, this one here is my uh, 2008 Softail Deluxe that I've uh, I've modded up pretty good. I rebuilt the engine on it. It was pretty bad shape. Uh, put the paint back to original. Uh, put some uh, Vansenheim long shots on it. And I've also, on this particular bike, I've got a, uh, a Vansenheim's uh, fuel pack 3 uh, I want to put a Thunder Max on it to match up my uh, my Road King but I haven't done that yet uh, they're just really expensive and you guys know that I pay for pretty much everything I get uh, other than my sunglasses because I'll tell you what we really had a great time giving away those Max eyewear sunglasses and I hope uh, the winners are really enjoying it I know everybody that's won so far sent me an email well not, not everybody but a lot of them have saying how much they enjoy the uh, these sunglasses which really makes me feel good because I truly believe in them uh, but let's get to the point what am I doing on the Harley Davidson well I think Royal Enfield and Harley Davidson are very similar now before you go crazy and say no Harley Davidson's are ten times the expense no! yes a lot of them are however other factors besides cost come into play and that's really what we're going to talk about today simplicity of design these bikes I, I, I tell you they're kind of like old-school motorcycles they really they don't have the highest technology in them I mean the v-twin in a in a uh, Harley Davidson is basically the same thing all the way back to the the pan and knuckleheads man it's not much different uh, other than you know some in improvements in the valve system improvements in the you know the cams and the crank and everything like that there's been improvements but the basic engines the same and you can say the same thing with the uh, Royal Enfield in particular the single cylinders they're really basically the same just some internal improvements to make them a little bit more reliable and I guess that's the big thing. So that simplicity of design is in both manufacturers is what really, really makes the, the deal for me. Another thing is, they just look cool, man. They're old school, cool look. I love the I love the look of a Harley Davidson, and I love the look of the Royal Enfields. They just there's something about it just trips my trigger, if you know what I mean. Nice. Well, beyond that. It's really easy to work on these bikes. I mean, like that simplicity design I mentioned before, there, there really just isn't the kind of, uh, you know, high-tech stuff that you've got going on in a lot of the motorcycles. And I, there's nothing against that. Like you guys know, I love all motorcycles. Yeah, but uh, a couple brands do really come true to my heart. And both of those are Royal Enfield and Harley-Davidson. Now, I have not even close to having the same kind of uh, experience on the Royal Enfield as I do the Harley because... There just wasn't any. When I was a kid, you never even saw one. But another thing I think about the uh, the two comparison between the uh, Royal Enfield and the Harley Davidson is the fact that they've each got a long history. I mean, you're talking about two motorcycle companies. Royal Enfield been in business since two, uh, 1901. Harley Davidson been in business since 1903. You've got two of the largest long running motorcycle brands on the planet. And that kind of kinship kind of works back and forth, I think. Because uh, you've got guys that have been believers in them for a hundred over a hundred years, and uh, well, not alive. You've been believing in it, but you know what I mean. You, you've got a heritage there that's just as in a culture that's just transcends generations, and I think that's really a big 
big, big plus. Now you can say some other motorcycle brands are in there. I know Triumph's going to say something and Indian's going to say something, but neither one of those motorcycles, in particular uh, uh, Indian, can say that they've been in business continuously. And uh, Harley and Royal Enfield have. And I think that's, that's the big, big thing. You know, something I would like to see and, and have, wait, what was that? Did you guys just see that go across there? <laughs> well, you know what? We had a great time with the Max Eyewear sunglass giveaway. And so, old man Ronan decided to uh, dip, dig deep in his pockets and pull out a few t-shirts. So, every, every Wednesday, we're going to announce a winner. And if you notice that little motorcycle going by there, what you're going to need to do is you need to be a subscriber, but also send me an email and make a comment below on what time you saw the little guy ride by and we'll put you in the drawing to win a uh, old man ronin t-shirt i'll tell you we, i really enjoy those t-shirts and we sold a few of them but we're going to give a couple away in the, the month of november and uh, see how people enjoy wearing old man ronin to their favorite biker rally hey i didn't have to turn off my turn signal <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the things about a Harley Davidson, baby. You don't have to do that. Well, I think you do on the Pan American. I think you do on the new Sportster. But uh, the uh, turn signals on a Harley, you've got your left here and your right over here. And, and that's kind of the deal. It's been that way forever, or it seems at least. But uh, yeah, that's, I think that's kind of a fun thing. that I joke around all the time because I'm my Himalayan and the uh, Media 350. I forget all the time to turn that turn signal off because I've been riding these things so long. Well, I think one of the things that's kind of cool between these two bikes, not only the fact that they're simplistic in design, they got that old school cool, they're easy to work on, except for the computer stuff, but I got a guy for that. I mentioned that before. But uh, they're, uh, the culture, like I said earlier, you know, these motorcycles have been around for well over 100 years and 120 years for, uh, for Royal Enfield this year. And uh, I think those things are, are just incredibly culturally fascinating for most people. I mean, it's, Everybody wants to belong to something. I mean, unless you're a, a guy living out in the woods, <laughs> you know, by yourself, everybody wants to be part of something, some kind of family. And I think Royal Enfield has this gigantic following, not only in uh, India, which, you know, where they call home now, but also in England as well, too, where it was started. Uh, that, that factor there, and then, of course, now America's getting some of the love here for uh, Royal Enfield, and the rest of the world is, too. But uh, that kind of culture is just transcending generations. Well, here's one of the big differences between the two. <laughs> Listen to that note, baby. Listen to that note. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, that really helps the channel. Hit that bell notification button, share and comment. You know, I read all the comments and comment on everything I possibly can. Until next time guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels, baby.